Hi guys, I will uh, show you how I did my tailor's dummy or dress form. Um, for this you will need um, clean wrap and um, thin uh, sello tape. It can be any color. So what you need to do, you need to wrap the doll up to the point where you want to dress dummy to be so roughly till here or to the widest part of the hip. I prefer to do it uh, bit by bit so make sure uh, this, this the clean film um, as smooth as possible especially on the delicate parts of the doll body. You don't want any bumps and lumps. I have wrapped the body. Now it's the fun part. You can start anywhere you want. I will start on the bust with the sellotape and then go round and round. The idea is to wrap every single inch of this body where you put your food wrap on. Right guys, when you finish sellotaping your doll, just turn it round and we need to cut, um, make a cut in here to the very end. Uh, what I do, I use the manicure scissors and just cut in the middle. Um, in order not to damage the resin, I would advise you to insert a piece of paper or some sort of flexible plastic. I know it looks a bit weird what I'm doing at the moment, but... We don't want to damage the resin, so just... If it's come to this point, uh, we'll just take the hand off because we don't want to cut anything here. Now what you're going to do, you just need to sellotape this all again. All this. So guys, you will end up with a dummy. Uh, what you need to do, you need to smooth out the inside as much as you can with your finger. Because we don't want any lines, extra... Uh, grooves. Now there is a few options what you can do. The option number one is um, we're gonna fill this foam in with expanding foam which comes with a nozzle like that or you're gonna go the easy option which is stuffing this foam with the toy stuffing and the third option is plaster of Paris. You will need to close armholes and the neck because we're gonna uh, put the plaster of Paris or the foam from the bottom. So I will close the gaps with just several tape and go a few times over the holes. Or you can do you can fill it in with the clay or blue tack. Make sure that it doesn't leak basically. It's up to you. And now we're going to fill it in with the plaster of Paris. So for this I would recommend you to allocate disposable containers because you don't want to put this down your drain. It's going to get blocked. And um, also you need a wooden dowel. And I made a hole in the cardboard here in the middle. So I can put it in here. Just like that. And once I fill in with the plaster of Paris this mold I'm gonna just 
put it like that so and the dowel stays in the middle <coughs> so it wouldn't move nothing okay so I'm gonna use this plastic um, containers and I'm gonna mix it with the chopsticks so I've got some water and I would recommend it using the mask because the plaster of Paris of course is not is not toxic however um, some well it's still a fine kind of plaster so you don't want to down to your lungs uh, you will also need something to hold this down excuse me so you can put the mold like that and it just holds in um, probably some cup or something some just find a box even okay so I just put my foam in the just box and uh, kind of secured a little bit with the foam inside as long as it doesn't move too much that's fine so um, I put some plaster of Paris in and just mix with water. The consistency wise I would recommend it to be runny. Double check that <coughs> everything is tightly closed. We'll find out soon <coughs> if I made any, if I let any holes in. <laughs> Anyway, so continue mixing. Basically, just mix till you're happy with the consistency. You can pull it in. It will usually set within half an hour, an hour. Depends on how much water you put in. And I want to remove the plastic wrap and the cello tape. It took literally, like I said, um, half an hour. But um, plaster of Paris take about 48, 72 hours to cure completely and um, you will feel it because it, it feels a bit heavier when it dries out it's actually lighter um, it, it doesn't shrink as far as I can see that um, so I sanded it a little bit um, you can see some imperfections uh, obviously because of the plastic wrap and things like that when you sand it do it outside and um, or wear the, the mask. Prime it first, paint it, just find the thing to put it into. It can be, you can make another mold from Plaster of Paris again and have it as a base. Or you can use a um, just wooden coaster, a drill hole and then just glue it in there. It's up to you what you're gonna do. That's how the expanding form looks like. It will escape from the bottom, uh, but that, that's absolutely fine because I filled in quite a lot from the, from the top. So, and you just wipe off the excess, it's still soft and it will probably harden in a few hours. So just be patient. It's very easy to work with. So that's how the dummy looks uh, after remove it from the plastic wrap. For one, um, so don't make the same mistake as I did. Uh, <coughs> I didn't really wait long enough for it to harden here, uh, so got a bit of a dent, but I will remedy this, that's not a problem. And compared to the plaster of Paris, this dummy is extremely light, so you can see, that's it. it's quite hard and resistant to breakages. Okay guys, that's the final product. Um, and I want just to mention a couple of things really. So this, um, so the tailor's dummy which made from foam, this one, uh, it's very very light, it's literally way nothing. And I would say that I do prefer this to the heavy plaster of Paris, it's so heavy. So this body is um, a SD size Angel of Dream body and because it's so heavy of what I did I, I make it so you can remove this from the stand and have it just sit like that so, so it can be put back quite easily. Uh, decorative uh, tape and um, 
if you remember I had some problems in here the foam was dented so I just padded it with the cotton pads and made it up to the volume required and eventually um, I used um, fabric pieces and just glued them on the foam and covered it with PVA glue on top so it gives the hard structure so it's really really hard it's not soft at all and it's extremely light which is good so this body was um, doll in mind MSD size body and this one was SD size angel of dream female body any questions please ask and thank you very much for watching see you at some point later